Hi Crafty Cuties! Hope you guys are doing well. Today's video is just going to be going over my new floral embellishment kits that I'm selling in my shop. So whether or not you are interested in getting one, this may not be the video for you, but I will have other videos this week for you guys. But I wanted to make a video just to kind of show whoever is interested in one what comes in here because I always think in photographs it's kind of hard to get an idea and I like to be able to explain things. So this is how the embellishment kits come. Um, for the like protector piece of paper, I just went ahead and actually watercolored a picture with some embossing on here. I just thought it would be more fun than a regular piece of paper and it kind of protects everything in here. And then basically there are a bunch of smaller packages inside this package. And while I know it's kind of a waste of plastic, I really wanted this to be kind of organized so that you can get good use out of everything that's in here. So I'm just gonna pull everything out Actually, you know what I'll do is I'll start with one thing at a time, or two things at a time. So first of all, there is some little floral embellishments that come in here. And these are watercolored or colored in with markers. And there's just a few different varieties of flowers in here. And there is an embossed one as well, which these are some of my favorite floral embellishments to use on projects. So I had to include this teal color because I love that. And then there are a bunch of like greenery, greenery pieces. I call this one build a wreath because there is a floral wreath that comes with it. This is on the outside because it's too big to go in the pack. So it's just kind of washi taped on there. And then on the inside, I'll give you kind of a better look. There's basically a bunch of different floral pieces. And my idea was that you could take these pieces and kind of mix and match it into any of the projects that you make with all of these pieces. I feel like everything in this kit actually really, really goes together. I feel like this is a step up from my old embellishment kit. And personally, I find that I, I feel like you guys will be able to use this on a variety of different projects, but basically there's like a smaller wreath in here and all of the embellishment kits are basically going to get every single item that you see that I'm showing you. There might be like a little variety of difference in color or something like that, but there is a glittery wreath. I love this one so much. And then as you can kind of just see, just a bunch of different greenery pieces like leaves and little pieces like that and like vines and I die cut most everything in here so my own hands die cut all of this stuff for you guys I literally had calluses um, after I spent like two nights putting cutting all this stuff so I'm gonna move that over here so you get those two packages and then one of my favorite um, little components is this DIY floral clip package. And basically in here you get enough flowers to make two or three or even four smaller um, layered flowers, which I'll include a photo right here so you can see what these pieces make. I do have a tutorial on how you can put this floral clip together as well. And it doesn't, you don't have to make it into a planner clip, but I did include everything, including like a little brad and the clip and the backings and everything that you possibly need. You could also just make these layered flowers for a project. And again, I just think this is nice and easy because this is die cut for you. It's easy to go. This is great if you don't have a die cutting machine or maybe you just don't have this floral die. Then in this package is a bunch of different little punches that also can create a flower. But of course you can use these separate as well. There's a little um, clip or a, it's not a clip, sorry. A little uh, center piece right here. So if you do choose to make a flower out of these and I do show this on my tutorial tutorial video as well, which I'll have that linked for you guys. And then you get a watercolor journaling card. This is approximately a three by four journaling card. And I just put it in one of these little plastic envelopes with some sequins because I thought that you could either turn this into a shaker card with the sequins or you can use it like a journaling card in your planner. 
You could use it on a scrapbook layout. This was just kind of fun, something extra that I wanted to add in for you guys. You get a little washi tag that just has some samples of floral washi, and these are just small samples. I thought that you could either use this as a tag like on a gift, or you can actually take the washi off and use it on a project. And then just a few more things here. I wanted kind of a variety, but I wanted everything to be in the floral kind of theme. So then in this little one, there are basically just some floral color parts. There are some labels and like little tickets that are on a floral uh, paper. These are a little bag of just flowers that you can either layer and make into like a layered um, flower or you can use them by themselves. Just a bunch of different um, designs. And then you get this little chipboard, <laughs> chipboard flower. And these will vary like the style, but they're all really, really cute. And I love them all. So there's everything in the floral embellishment kit. I hope that if you guys end up buying one that you love it. I had so much fun creating this embellishment kit. I feel like it's kind of like an embellishment or ephemera kit that you would buy in a store, but like a Supreme version, you know, like a taco Supreme. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys have any questions about this, let me know. I will have a link to where this is listed in my shop to make it easy for you. And either way, maybe you're just getting ideas. I think it would be fun to create an embellishment kit for some happy mail or something like that. Let me know if you have any requests for a certain theme of an embellishment kit. I would love to hear that. And be sure to check out the tutorial because you guys, the flowers that these create are just beautiful. And honestly, I feel like that's kind of the main focus in this kit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will talk to you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.